Hi everybody, Karishma Lalwani. I'm the Senior Director in our Scalability Products team and I'm super excited to share with you a brand new launch, Apex Guru, that went GA two weeks ago. So if you are a customer who's on our unlimited edition or you're a signature customer, you actually have access to Apex Guru right now in your org. You can just go to your production org or your full copy sandbox to activate this. And today I'm going to show you what is Apex Guru all about, as well as a quick demo. So Apex Guru is essentially a product that is, again, our gen AI capability. We've been working for over two years with our Salesforce research team to train our models to detect very crucial anti-patterns that lead to code quality improvements, as well as generate the right code that you can actually implement using LLMs. Our first feature here is detecting those anti-patterns. Over the years, working with our large customers, we do understand that it's not always possible to test a particular line of code at scale. You might be testing in your dev orgs, in your sandboxes, but what does that code do when you have thousands of concurrent requests? What does that code do when you have multiple users using the same line of code at the same time? This is where Apex Guru is going to really come to action to get proactive and tell you exactly whether that line of code is going to scale or not. The second feature that we have is giving you insights around your SQL and DML statements within your Apex code. This again is all in line with the goal of improving your code quality, making it more performant, reducing latency. The third feature that I want to talk about is expensive methods. This again, using our runtime information from our profiling systems, we are able to tell you which methods are expensive and how should you tweak them to make it more performant. And the last feature that I'm going to talk about is unused classes, which is the goal is to reduce technical debt in your org. So let's just dive into the demo to see these in action. You can access Apex Guru by going to setup and searching for Scale Center. Scale Center is the product that we launched last summer. This is our application performance management system that gives you insights in all areas across the platform. Diving down to Apex Guru, the very first screen that you will see is this report creation date. Now, Apex Guru is generating reports on a weekly basis. So you can pick a date of the week that you're interested in. And very quickly, this report is actually preloaded. You'll see all these features automatically get populated. Now, the very first time that you run this report, the very first time if you're opting in, it does take 24 hours for the first report to get generated. But after that, you will see this get refreshed on a weekly basis. The first tab here is around code recommendations. We also are able to classify the code recommendations into critical, major, and minor. As a developer, you would probably start at the critical tab. Here, you see that we are telling you about the current code that we have detected an anti-pattern. Along with that, we also tell you the class that this code was found and the entry point. In this example, the anti-pattern that we have detected is the schema.getGlobalDescribe. We also tell you, how can you improve this code? So on the right, we actually give you the recommended code snippet that you can replace in your org. Now this part on the right is where our LLM comes to play. This is auto-generated for developers to quickly copy the code, put it in the IDE, and get right to test. The same thing 
would be in major and minor depending on the criticality of the recommendation. The next feature that I was talking about is SOQL and DML analysis. In this tab, this is a very common scenario where you're using S objects in an in-bind filter as part of your SQL query. So if you look here, this is the query, and here is the bind variable. Although this is very easy to write, but it's not the efficient way to use it. Apex Guru will again give you the recommended code of how you should approach this particular use case. So here you see, it tells you, you can create a map of contact IDs and replace it in the in class. Once again, very quickly, making sure that you're writing performant code that is ready to scale. The third tab here is expensive methods. Here again, we are able to classify the methods based on the criticality. Now, what do I mean by criticality? It means how much percentage of CPU are you using? So the critical expensive methods use at least 5% of CPU time, which in our opinion is pretty high. So here we give you a quick run list of all the methods that you should look at that are expensive for Salesforce to process and as a result will cause a lot of latency to your end user experience. The last tab is unused classes and methods. I talked about technical depth. As a developer, if you've grown into multiple teams over multiple years and there is tons of code in your org, you are well aware of the character code limit that you hit in Apex. This is one of the powerful features that I'm very happy to share where it will help you really reduce that technical debt and also make it more efficient in terms of future development. This is a complete dev productivity feature enhancements and was one of the most asked feature even working with our Apex team. This is just the start of how do we come about to writing scalable code in Salesforce early on, shifting left so that you don't have to deal with the heartache once you hit production. With that, I'll turn it over to Mohit.